Minecraft Survival has a diverse and colourful landscape, teeming with life of all shapes and sizes, gentle and dangerous. To succeed, you must know how to harness this life to your advantage. This series will help you do just that. This is Life on Minecraft. Swamps have been part of Minecraft for a long time now, but since Minecraft 119, a new swamp has grown from the Minecraft landscape, bringing with it new life. The Mangrove Swamp. Inside, new blocks are now available, including mud and the sprawling mangrove tree, with its roots making up part of its huge mass. However, hidden amongst these giants can be found an exciting new Minecraft animal. The frog. Naturally spawning in both swamp types, the Minecraft frog has some great features, some of which you might not know. Frogs come in three different flavours, warm, temperate and cold. The ones in mangrove swamps are white, well, cream anyway. The white frog is actually based on a real life frog, the grey foam nest tree frog. If you come across a frog in a normal swamp, they're like a brownie orange colour. Orange frogs are also based off of a real life frog, the brown bullfrog. And if you come across a frog in a cold biome, that one's going to be green, but that's really unlikely and I'll tell you why in a moment. No one really knows what the green frog is based off, perhaps a standard green tree frog, but personally, I think they look more like Kermit the Frog. Just as an aside, you can put a lead on a frog and then tether it to whatever you want or lead it anywhere, which is just as well, because these guys jump everywhere. So don't think of putting them in a fenced off pen, because frogs can jump eight blocks high in Minecraft. That is unless you put them on a honey block, then they're not going anywhere, they are stuck. Bit mean I know, but it stops you having to worry about a lead, doesn't it? You can breed frogs of any type with frogs of any other type in Minecraft. All you need is a slime ball and I've got a few here. If I hold this slime ball, you can see the frogs get a little bit interested in me and they breed a little bit like turtles. If I give that one a slime ball and that one a slime ball, they will come together and they will mate. However, they won't produce a baby. And the reason for that is one of them has to walk off and find a little bit of water. And when it does, it will produce a little bit of frog spawn, just like that one. So that was the pregnant one. Now, frog spawn is one of the blocks that is not available in survival Minecraft at all. You can only have it in the creative menu. If I was to try and mine out that frog spawn, even with a silk touch pick, it would just become destroyed. I wouldn't be able to pick it up. However, they will eventually hatch into these tadpoles. And if you leave them long enough, they will grow up into frogs. However, what if you want a different colored frog? The color of the frog parents has absolutely nothing to do with the colour of the tadpole when it grows up into a frog is 100% to do with the biome that it turns into an adult frog in. So if you want an orange frog, you need a temperate biome. If you want a white frog, choose a warm biome. If you want a green frog, you need to go somewhere cold. However, that is a real problem because frogs only spawn naturally in swamps and mangrove swamps. No cold biomes have naturally spawning frogs. And that is why green frogs are the rarest frog in the game. They are not natural, they are completely man-made. Well, player made, you know what I mean. So how do we get the tadpoles where we want them? I'll show you. If you right click on a tadpole with a bucket of water, they will give you a tadpole in a bucket. And that is your portable tadpole solution. One snowy biome, two tadpoles, to future green frogs. But if you can't be doing with all that faff and waiting for the tadpoles to turn into frogs, and you've got commands enabled, then you can always use the command to summon each different type of frog. And this is what you need. If you press T and then type slash summon Minecraft colon frog, and then tilde, which is that little curly line, space, tilde, space, tilde, space, curly wavy bracket, variant, colon, temperate, close that curly whirly bracket, that will give you a temperate frog. There it is. Change that command to cold at the end and press enter and you will bring in a new frog. There should be a green one lurking around here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. And then finally change it to warm and you'll have the white frog waiting for you. Frogs are actually quite hardy animals for their size. They have 10 health points. That is five full hearts. That means with an unenchanted netherite sword, you've got to hit them twice to kill them. Although, if you're going around killing frogs, you are a monster. 
Now frogs do have some genuine uses, and let me show you. Frogs eat baby slimes, the smallest slimes, and they spit out a slime ball because that gives them indigestion. So this is a really good way of being able to get more slime balls, to be able to breed more frogs, to be able to eat more slimes, to get more slime balls, to breed more frogs. You see where I'm going with that. They also eat the smallest magma cubes because they're just like nethery slimes, really. But instead of magma cream, they drop a great new light block the frog light. And those frog lights give out a light level of 15 and come in three different varieties too. The pearlescent, the ochre and the verdant, which are just posh names for purpley pink, orangey brown and green. But each one is dropped by its own special frog. The warm frog drops the pearlescent, the temperate frog drops the ochre and the cold frog drops the verdant cube. And I'll be honest, I think these are the best things to come out of frogs, literally. Which is why I made a frog light farm tutorial. The link is in the description below if you want to go and follow that. There used to be a bug where the frogs also ate the goats. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen anymore, even for baby goats. And I think that's a real shame because that'd be hilarious. In fact, I would love it if the frogs ate loads of different mobs. You imagine the farms you could use with frogs if you just did that. Come on, Mo Yang, sort it out. And don't even get me started about Minecraft fireflies. When it was first conceived, there was supposed to be fireflies in Minecraft that the frogs would eat. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, people who keep frogs have said the fireflies are poisonous and will kill the frogs. Well, I don't care. Bring in the fireflies. Come on, you know you want to. I hope there was something there that means that you now know more about Minecraft frogs than you did at the beginning of the video. Make sure you let me know in the comments below the thing you learned. Did you know there is a whole series of life on Minecraft? You can see it right here. Go and have a look for me. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another life on Minecraft. You take it easy now. Bye.